morning, good people. I am Sister Maria de Cristo at Our Lady of Light Monastery. Today, among the poor clerks, we celebrate the memorial of St. Agnes of Prague, or of Bohemia. She was the daughter of King Otto Karl I of Bohemia and lived as a contemporary of St. Clair in the 13th century. When the friars came to her city of Bohemia, she knew, she learned about St. Clair and her sisters at St. Damiano in Assisi and sought the counsel and advice of St. Clair. A profound friendship developed among themselves. We keep four letters that St. Clair wrote to Agnes, which are so beautiful and tell us about their spiritual journey also of their friendship. But first, let me show you an icon that I really like very much. It uh, represents St. Clair and St. Agnes. Clair is in the act of writing, writing a letter, and Agnes on the other side is holding one of those letters. Between them and uniting them, it's the cross, the Tau cross, with the letters or the words Anam Kara, an Irish expression that means soul friends. They were soul friends, truly. In this second letter of St. Clair, there is a passage which says, and this is the invitation especially, gaze upon him, consider him, contemplate him, as you desire to imitate him. If you suffer with him, you shall reign with him. If you weep with him, you shall rejoice with him. Clary is asking Agnes to gaze upon Christ, to consider the mystery of the cross. Through this contemplation, Claire is encouraging Agnes to join also prayerfully with the sufferings of Jesus, to become also Christ-like. We are all, especially during this time of Lent, to walk the same walk, to contemplate, to gaze upon, to look, and to try to imitate joining our own sufferings, giving of ourselves totally to him who totally loved us. May you have a very blessed Lent. Know that we, your sisters and brothers, the Capuchins, pray for you and your intentions. Peace be with you.